This is Sports Director Brian Holland with your Go Nation report. A big day on National Signing Day yesterday. More on that here in a moment. But first, some bigger news for the LSU Tigers yesterday as a report coming out from Soonerscoop.com that three Oklahoma Sooners will be suspended for that college football playoff showdown against the Tigers. That report saying that sophomore defensive end Ronnie Perkins, who, by the way, has 13 and a half tackles for loss, junior running back Shamondre Stevenson, and freshman wide receiver Trajan Bridges will all be suspended for the Peach Bowl. OU head coach Lincoln Riley asked specifically if Kennedy Brooks and the aforementioned suspended Stevenson will play in the game. He responded, Kennedy Brooks will play. And that's it. That's all you get. How about this? Plenty on the plate, plenty to get out there on the recruiting trail there for Coach O. And another top five class. Back to back top five classes in recruiting for LSU. Now, it's not all finalized. They will finalize it with a final recruiting date there in February, but a very good sign. And by the way, the theme of this year's class 14 of the 19 signees yesterday from outside the state lines. You know, we, uh, we always want to take care of the state of Louisiana first, but uh, guys were really approaching us because we're interested in coming in LSU. They were great players, so obviously we went out there and get them. Well, we, we didn't get everyone from out of state that we wanted. You know, we lost some, but that, that's going to happen. Uh, we feel that we did a very good job in the state. We feel like we signed the guys that we thought they could play at LSU. And uh, so you got to look at you got to look at what we have in the state. And then if we don't have that position or we don't have enough, we have to go out of state and get them. Will Wade and company in the PMAC last night hadn't lost at home all season long. T taking on East Tennessee State. You think you just chalk up a W, right? Darius Day's looking good. Finding Emmett Williams, who had a double double, 16 points, uh, 11 rebounds. All the night last night, but LSU trailed by seven after that bucket. Then Skylar Mays, the shake, the bake, and the scoop right there to Trenton Watford. That's easy, does it from there. The Buccaneers, though, would knock down eight deep balls last night from beyond the arc. East Tennessee State up by 16 after that bucket. The Bucks with 15 second chance points as well. 19 offensive rebounds. 19 offensive rebounds. That is not ideal. East Tennessee State up by 18, and LSU furious comeback. Skyler Mays, the pump and the three, but it wasn't enough as, unfortunately, East Tennessee State gets the win in the PMAC last night, 74-63. to That's Look at your Good Nation Sports this morning. I'm Brian Holland.